Good day, good day, good day, good day. Welcome back. Yes, I'm at the same venue that I shot the previous video. That was with the Zon 25 and 30 grain slugs. Um, yeah, it's the same day, same wind conditions, same ugly wind conditions. 100 meter range, but I've got a treat for you with these H&Ns. This was one awesome, awesome day. Watch this. But if you can hear in the background, the wind is picking up. It is starting to pump. So this is going to be very, very, very interesting. I've chosen a spot where I've got some protection from the wind. And also where my chair is situated, I've got some protection from the back regarding that. So that the mic doesn't pick up too much noise. So we're going to try a couple of things today. The gun setup for today is my trusty FX Mark 1. This has got the 700 mm heavy superior liner, recently fitted the 720 plenum there on the back, and I'm going to shoot it from power setting 2. Now, these 25 grainers at power setting 2 is going to zip at 1010 feet per second. So that is quite fast for these slugs. I've never shot them at that speed. So let's see what they do against the wind. Guys, I'm at the 100 meter range again today. I found a very old tin of H&N 25 grainers that was lying there in my cupboard and I thought, oh well, with all these new slugs that comes out, why not shoot one of the older slugs and see if these guys didn't have the correct formula from the word go. Now these slugs are so old, the, the lubricant on it has turned the slugs grey. It is it's sticky to the fingers and I'll probably have to, to clean my barrel afterwards. So the slugs don't look nice, but let's see how they perform. 100 meters, running at 1,005 feet per second, so I am pushing them a little bit hard. Let's see what happens. <laughs> the moment the wind dies down, I find a lull in the wind. The grouping improves. And just did a 180 on me <laughs> or everything to the right all right let's empty these magazines on that center target wow 20 shots later, I don't think I can improve much on that, not with these winning conditions. Let's go measure up, give you guys the results. The individual groupings didn't look that great. If we go to target number one, we've got a one and a half inch grouping there or 1.3 MOA, which is not great. The second grouping slightly worse at 1.42 MOA. The third grouping much more of the sameness this time's at a two inch grouping and you can see the effect of the wind the same with the fourth grouping but where these slugs really really shown was with the 20 shots in the middle now that with the wind conditions was just excellent so from this perspective the 25 grainers in H&M definitely gets a thumbs up from me I love the 27 grainers, those were the slugs that was the most accurate in my gun. Unfortunately, I'm all out of sock, stock, stock, stocks, <laughs> so I won't be shooting them today. But I do, however, have the 30 grainers, so let's look have a squeeze at them. I've always been of the opinion that the 25 and the 27 grain H&Ns are probably the most accurate slugs out there in the market. I've never had the same success though with the 30 grainers. So let's see if I bump the power up to 975 feet per second, if I can get some uh, better grouping with these H&Ns at 100 meters. Let's rip them.
All right, let's dump everything in the middle group. Let me quickly fill up. I want to shoot the, the rest of them. I think that's mightily impressive. Let's have a closer look and wrap this day up for you guys. As with the 25 grainers, the individual groupings didn't look that good, with the best one at 1.3 MOA, the second, the third, and even the fourth grouping just barely on two inches, still um, sub two MOA, but not rocket science. I really wanted these 30 grainers to perform better than this. However, when we look at the 22 shot group right in the middle, except for two outliners that were way out, that was a pretty decent grouping. That grouping would have been under two inches if it wasn't for those two way out outliners. In this wind condition, heads up, still some of the best slugs out there in the market. I do, however, still prefer the 27 grain H&Ns. In my opinion, out of my gun, by far the most accurate slugs. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. See you in the next one. That's all, folks.